Today we're going to do a pre-trip and a proper hookup on our tractor and trailer. As we're walking up to our truck, we want to be visually looking under the truck to see if there's anything leaking, any type of debris hanging off the bottom of the truck, anything like that. As we're approaching the truck, you can tell pretty easily if you got any bad leaks or anything. Want to make sure our truck's in gear, brakes are set. As you can see, we got a chalk block there before we start our pre trip. When we start our pre trip, first thing we want to do before we start the truck is make sure there's oil in it. All of our fluids are good, belts are good. Doing our, undoing our latches, each truck's a little different. Sometimes you may have latches outside. Some of our other trucks, like the Volvos, have a latch under the dashboard to pull the hood up. As you're doing the pre-trip, you want to watch you don't bang yourself off of these mirrors. First thing you want to do is check your engine oil. As you can see, it's clearly marked on top of the dipstick. You'll see you have two marks here. You want to make sure the oil is between those two. We look good. While you're here, you can check your washer fluid. If you don't have enough washer fluid, this one's getting a little low. You want to make sure you put some in there so the DOT don't write you up for not having squirters. You can check your antifreeze on this side. Of course, we're going to walk over to the other side also. Check it there. Any kind of brake or clutch fluid will be in here. Basically looking for anything that might be shiny, broken, loose, leaking. Checking your linkage for your steering. Everything is secure. Looking at your clips make sure the clips are inside the uh, chambers just said that, that pin comes out then you don't have brakes checking the inside of your brake pads not sure if you could see on the inside here but you want to have at least a quarter inch of brake pad right in here on the brake shoe make sure none of your u-bolts are broke usually if something's broke down there you'll start seeing shiny metal your shock absorber is good secure Everything looks pretty good on this side. All your spring hangers are in good shape. Nothing shiny, everything looks pretty good. We'll walk around to the other side. Again, you can see your coolant level right here. You can look in, you can get a little look at the belts inside there, but they're really hard to see on this unit. It's hard to get your hand in there to test them, just to see, check them for play. Uh, exhaust coming back you can see the pipe you're looking for any dark marks might be on the pipe showing an exhaust leak it all looks pretty good here it's fairly good shape again same thing on this side checking your spring bolts your u-bolts checking your shock absorber your brakes you got your pin in your brake chamber uh, brake pads on the back here quarter of an inch everything looks pretty good there hangers are all good and that's underneath the hood, basically uh, your basic stuff of what you have to check. We'll shut this hood now, and there's probably a latch that's holding us. Should be a safety latch on the other side here. safety latch right here on the one piston so that you can't so the hood don't fall down on you while you're working on it you got to release that on these newer ones drop it down secure your latches And then we'll start on the outside of the tractor. I'm starting right here on the 
passenger side front. I'm checking out all the glass to make sure there's no cracks in it. Everything looks secure. Mirrors are secure. All your lights are intact. We'll check the lights once we hook onto the trailer to make sure they're all working. Grill's all intact. Everything looks good. You got a license plate. You got a good month registration on your license plate. You got your New York Cut sticker here. And headlights here. Secure mirrors. Everything looks good there. On your wheel, you want to check your lug nuts. Usually if one of these are loose, you'll see streaking or you'll see uh, shiny marks that uh, tells you that you got a loose wheel. You want to make sure the hub oil is not leaking out. This one looks pretty good. Tread depth on the tire, you got at least 330 seconds on your steer tire. That all looks good. Make sure your steps are good and secure. Door handles, your window again on this side. Going over the whole outside of the truck, just make sure everything's secure. Got your DEF fluid cap, make sure that's on. You got your 2015 IFTA stickers. On the back of the cab, you want to check, make sure your airlines are here. Make sure they're hung up properly so they're not getting water in the winter time or snow gathering on them when you're not using them. Fuel cap. Secure. There's a little gasket on the inside of the fuel cap. Make sure that's on there so it's not leaking. If you're driving down the road, you don't want fuel splashing around. You got your shock absorbers on the back of the cab. Airbags. They're all pumped up. Everything looks good there. You got your steps here, your catwalk. Make sure that's all secure. You're looking inside here at your drive shaft. Looking for anything shiny missing, loose, leaking, anything like that. Any shiny spots back here means something is loose. We can see the dry shaft U-joints up there, they look good. You can see them right here, I don't see nothing shiny there, that looks good. Again, your spring hangers, all look good. U-bolts are in place. Check your brake pads again. Make sure you got a quarter inch on your brake pads. And tread depth of your tire looks nice, 330 seconds or better. As you can see, we got a chalk block here so the truck's not rolling away when we're trying to do this. Airbags are inflated, chalk absorber in place. On your fifth wheel, the handle's out, looks well lubricated. Nothing down in between the jaws here that would uh, stop you from getting properly hooked to your trailer. All your uh, blocks for your uh, fifth wheel so it doesn't slide off the frame or all in place. All the bolts are secure. Again, brake chambers down here. Checking them. Make sure they're all in good, secure. Nothing loose on the shocks, on the springs. More brake pads on the back wheel here. Your frame has no holes in it, no cracks that you can see. Uh, lug nuts again on the wheels. All, all the wheels. Got to check all the lug nuts. You see nothing, nothing loose here. Nothing shiny that would say that they're loose. Nothing leaking out of the center hubs. Same on both wheels. You're supposed to have a cap on each one of your air valves. Again, no loose lug nuts. No shiny spots on the wheel saying they're loose. Back of the cab, you got your mud flaps in place. Spring loaded. Not falling off. Again, you can see your another U-joint down in here on your drive shaft. Nothing looks shiny or broken. Anything looks good. Everything looks good down in there. Now uh, you got your vent for your rear axle here. That's on it. Again, these bushings are all good, secure. Airbags, good, secure. Your leveler valve right here for your uh, height on your tractor. That all looks good, all the lines are hooked up. Now we're gonna repeat on this side. Airbag, shocks, springs, nothing shiny, nothing loose. Brake pads, quarter of an inch easily. All your hoses on your brake chambers all set. All look good, nothing loose there. Again, airbags here, springs, your deck for your fifth wheel, all look secure. 
blocks are in place. Everything's bolted down nice. Your little pins are locked out on your fifth wheel, so you can tell. Right here, you'll see the pins that stick out, and you'll when you slide that fifth wheel, they'll pull in with this cylinder, and you can move it back and forth to adjust your weights. But you always want to make sure they're locked in place when you go to hook to a trailer. Again, wheels, same thing, lug nuts, all secure. No shiny spots on the wheels, indicating something loose. Nothing leaking out of the center hubs. Front quarter fenders, good shape. Been trying to get a good look down in here and make sure you got nothing shiny hanging out. Everything looks fairly secure here. Brake chambers, your parking brakes are in the front axle here. They look in good shape. Fuel cap on this side. Gasket inside, looks good. Glass is in good shape. Got the other hip to stick around this side. All your steps are secure. Mirrors, good shape. Nothing broken. Now what we'll do is back our truck up under the trailer and do a proper hookup. tandem pins are locked in place here so those tandems can't move when we back under I always like to check around the back of my trailer just to make sure there's nothing here in case the trailer does move now we'll back onto it and hook up under the trailer. I heard the, the kingpin lock onto the tractor and I gave it two tugs just to make sure I had it hooked up. Now I'll visually go under and check that the pin is hooked. Always carry a little flashlight. And I'll look and I want to make sure that that bar is all the way across with the kingpin underneath it. Which it is. We look good. Now you know you're secure going down the roadway. Once 
you know your pin's secure, then you want to hook your airlines up. Make sure these rubber gaskets are in good shape. Securely lock them on there. In these gaskets, someone's got them bunged up here. Now we got all of our lines hooked up, we'll crank the legs up in here. You want to do this procedure in the same way each time. You want to check the pin first because if you're not latched to it and you roll your legs up and hook your lines up, you're going to drive away and you're going to lose your trailer. So Always check that pin first. Always try to use three points of contact when you're cranking the legs up. Sometimes you'll see guys spinning the handle with one finger and then they end up cracking themselves in the jaw with the handle. That's never good. Okay, now we got the tractor and trailer hooked together. We're gonna go around, check the trailer, then we'll come back up, start the truck up, check all of our lights. This is a reefer unit, so it's a little bit different. If you're gonna do a a, uh, a pre-trip on the, on the uh, reefer unit, there's a button in here you push for pre-trip, and you would see that on our APU training tape. It tells you how to use all that. On the trailer itself, we're looking down the sidewalls, making sure there's nothing rippled. You got all your cross members that are hold together with these four bolts. If any of those two or four bolts are missing, that's a DOT shutdown because your cross member could fall out and your floor could collapse. So you always want to make sure, sometimes trailers will come alongside and rub them like there's a little rub right here. Make sure all those bolts are hooked on. Want to check your landing gear, make sure it all seems secure. Welds are all good, nothing cracked. You got your sand pads on here, they're in good shape. Bars going across, you can check the bolt on the other side that hooks this leg to that leg, because if that bolt's missing, only one leg goes up and down. We know it just went up in the air, so we should be good. Meanwhile, you're walking down the side of your trailer, checking underneath, looking at all your cross members. That's what holds your weight. If you're gonna have an issue, if any of those are broke, you have big issues going down the roadway. Back here again, tandems are locked in, handles slid all the way in. We got good two, two to three thirty seconds on our tread depth on our tires. Same thing with these wheels as the tractor wheels. None of the lug nuts are loose. Nothing shiny in there saying it would be wore out. No oil spraying around from a loose, uh, a leaky hub seal. Same on this wheel. Nothing loose. Nothing looks like it's leaking, nothing shiny there. All of our tires are pumped up with air. They look good, nothing stuck in between the tandems. We got our mud flap here, all looks secure. Get under here a little bit, you can check to see if your airbags are deflated or inflated. You can check your brake shoes. Same as the tractor, make sure you got a quarter inch of brake shoe there. Check your uh, slack adjusters, make sure your pins are locked in. Got your cotter pins in place so nothing falls apart. Air tanks, leveling valves, shocks, all look secure here. All the stuff you want to take a good look at just to make sure nothing looks shiny, broken, loose, or leaking. That's what you're looking for. You don't have to be a mechanic, just take a good look at it. Come around the side. You want to make sure you got your hanger here for your door. Go to open the door, you got to have something to hang it on to. 
back part of our trailer. All of our door seals are intact. All of our door bars are closed to lock down into place. You got your chains here to hook the doors onto the latches on the side. ICC bumpers in place, secure. Nothing broken, hanging off. Got a good trailer plate on there. All your hinges go up the sides of your doors. Make sure they're not broke off. They break real easy, they're only aluminum. Lights up on top, indicating you're 102 wide. Now we're gonna go same thing down this side of the trailer. Our ABS light, mud flaps. Checking our rails up underneath. Make sure they're all good. Tires, got air, good tread depth. Nothing loose on the lug nuts, nothing shiny. A little rusty, but nothing shiny. And of course, nothing leaking out of our hub seal. Tandem pins are locked in place on this side. Again, lug nuts, nothing loose. Everything's good. No oil dripping out of the hub seal here. Tires are good and inflated. You should use a tire pressure gauge if you have one. Again, check down the whole side of the trailer. Make sure there's nothing damaged. Make sure all your bolts are in place for your cross members. Midship light, good shape. Underneath, just as the other side, checking all your cross members. That's where all the weight lays. This has a spare tire carrier. Make sure that's secure so it's not flopping around on you. Again, sand pads in place and secure. All your landing gear looks secure. No cracks in the welds. You got a bolt on the back side of this bar that cranks your legs up and down. Be sure if you get a, a look at that in here. That bolt is what holds your one leg to the other leg that cranks it up and down so that the legs go up and down on both sides in unison. Now we already checked our tractor wheels, so we're still going down the sides of the trailer looking for damage. Everything looks good. Nose cone of the trailer, some are on the passenger side, some are on the driver's side. Inside of there, you'll find your registration paperwork. You can see the white letter right here. You want to make sure that registration matches your license plate. Then put it all back together. Hopefully with the gasket on there so it's not leaking water all over the place in there. They put them in a plastic bag to keep them dry, but sometimes that doesn't always work. Checking the top rails again, nothing damaged. Everything looks pretty good on the trailer. Now what we'll do is we'll start the truck up, turn our lights on, make sure all of our lights are in working order. Good idea in the winter to carry a rag with you so you can wipe these lights off as you go due to salt and stuff on the roadways. So you can see the flasher working there now. Going to the back, you can see our lights lit up. Our side marker light here, our ABS light is not lit, that's a good sign. 
Up top, we got our marker lights on top, three lights on top. We got our flashers down the bottom, parking lights. And we should get some brake lights here in a minute. There's the brake lights coming on. Got your trailer light, uh, license plate light, China, good shape. Everything looks good back here. Again, marker light on this side working. Going down the side. Got our parking light. I just seen our flasher shut off, so I know that's working. You can see underneath we got our flashers going. They're working fine. Now we shut off, we got our brake lights working, so you know they're working. And again, we got our trailer lights up in the top corner, they're both on. Good shape. Walk the light on this side. And that concludes our whole light trip, free trip. From this point, you do your pump down, and you know you're safe going down the roadway. Once you get inside the truck, you want to make sure, of course, you have your permit book. All your permits are up to date. You got an insurance card, registration, and IFTA. That'll get you across 99% of the country. There's your Oregon permit if you happen to go there. You want to check your fire extinguisher, which is on the side of the driver's seat, which we'll get you a picture of when we step out. Make sure that's uh, secured and charged. And you want to make sure that you have defrosters, of course. If you don't have defrosters, they'll be put on defrost. Check your defrost. Make sure you got air coming out of them. Make sure you don't have a bunch of papers and garbage cluttered up there that blocks those defrosters or you're going to have issues in the winter. Wipers working good. Blinkers are both working inside. All your gauges are working. Looks good. All of our lights on. I see we got an ABS light lit up here. We'll have to get that checked. Uh, other than that, everything looks good inside here. All your windows are clean. Not uh, blocked by anything. Nothing hanging down in front of your face around here. Everything looks good. Everything in the bunk is secure. You don't want any projectiles. If you start having an accident or something, anything back there will be a projectile coming out at you. So you want to be careful how you secure stuff in your bunk. Now we'll check the fire extinguisher on this side, make sure it's uh, charged up, and we'll check and see if we got our triangles in the side box. Fire extinguisher, good and secure. The gauge is in the green. You can see the arrow in the green there. That's all good and secure. And on the, you should be carrying with you triangles in case you do have a breakdown. So you could warn motorists of the breakdown ahead. Make sure you have them in the side box. All stuff you want to make sure you have with you. I see we got a spare light cord in this truck. And that should be it. Very good. Now we know we should be safe going down the road and legal.